Yo, what up everyone? Amir Rahim here on Wrapping and Snack, and let's get into another episode of Collector's Corner. We're going to be showing off some vinyl, CDs, tapes, promo items, other things in this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like hip-hop and hip-hop related items. Also the Instagram, at Wrapping and Snacking, and drop a like on the video. I appreciate y'all. Gonna get started with a vinyl that I picked up off eBay. This is the Freddie Gibbs Straight Killa EP. I have it on picture disc right here. Um... Boom, as you can see on the front side, and then you can see on the back where it says Straight Killa. This is the first pressing that they dropped on vinyl. Uh, the Vinyl Me Please pressing, which some of y'all also may have heard of. I'm about to show that because I also did pick that up recently. But boom, pick this one up on eBay for $47 shipped. And I wanted to make sure that I got this before the Vinyl Me Please stuff got crazy because I figured that may boost the price on this. Uh, you know, it's a decent price, but I got it for nothing exceptional. But then moving on to the Vinyl Me Please pressing, it is right here. So as you can see, as opposed to being a, a picture disc, this is the picture cover. And uh, there's the back as well. Boom. And this one uh, is on colored vinyl in per usual uh, Vinyl Me Please fashion. And to be honest with you, I don't have a Vinyl Me Please membership, but... Uh, that's the color right there. So you got like yellow and black splatter. But I don't remember how I got this because I didn't buy it on Discogs and I didn't buy it on um, eBay. So I don't remember how. Maybe I bought it through someone on Instagram. I don't remember. But uh, it also has this right here within as well. Finally, please always usually throws in little extra things, whether it be like etchings or uh, pamphlets or other things. We're usually doing something a little extra. Uh, but finally, please, cool concept and everything. I just don't believe in paying like subscription for vinyl records. Um, but maybe eventually I will. Uh, I feel like I miss out on quite a few things. And then I'm buying like resale stuff. And I hate buying resale because it's always more expensive. But Eh, we'll see what I do. I usually get what I want anyways, somehow or some way. But that's straight Killa EP. I showed the picture disc and I also showed the picture cover. Next up, I have another Vinyl Me Please thing that I did buy aftermarket. And this being one of my favorite albums right here. This is 3-6 Mafias when the smoke clears. And um, wow, I was so stoked that someone pressed this. It's really, really, really dope. As you can see, it's got like a holographic on the lettering it's also slightly um like uh, perforated or not perforated but it's a little etched out so you can kind of feel it and then you got right here you see like the glitter in the in the name it's just really well done on the cover aspect and then the actual color of the vinyl record i remembered some colors here let's check it out what was it yeah it's like a black with like orangish yellowish in the vinyl itself. So I picked this one up, not from Vinyl Me Please. Once again, uh, I picked it up from a reseller on, did, no, on eBay for $70 shipped. So that's what I picked it up for. Look at this. 36 Mafia, one of the best groups ever. I was so stoked to get this. And um, really, really, really clean copy. But what's dope about this is that the guy who I bought it from had actually taken i guess a little longer than he should have so in the meantime while he's waiting for the record to arrive he had also just shipped me this for free and that would be mad veil me too he just shipped me this for free so i was happy that i'm like all right cool he shipped me a repress just for free it's still sealed so i was like all right cool so i got two uh things for the 70 dollars i initially just bought the three six mafia for so that was awesome and nice of him gave him some good feedback as well then moving on we have four vinyl singles that I picked up from a seller on Discogs. This I got for 40 euros shipped. So pretty, pretty, pretty cool singles that I got here. And what's annoying is it was $20 or 20 euros for the singles and then 20 euros for the shipping, you know, because that's just how it is for some overseas things. So this is Stereo Crew right here. She's a skag. And maybe some of y'all don't know what this is, but this is Ice Cube. Uh, very, very, very early. I know a lot of people talk about when Ice Cube in his early days, they talk about, you know, NWA, obviously, but they also talk about CIA. I feel like a lot of people don't know about Stereo Crew. Well, check out Stereo Crew if you haven't. This is She's a Skag. And this um, particular one, 
was pressed in the United Kingdom. So I was happy that I got the picture cover for this. You know, I seem to my favorite rapper, so I had to go ahead and pick this one up. And then another release right here, Do Wa Diddy by 2 Live Crew. Funny song. 2 Live Crew is hilarious, and, and, and they're dope. But uh, this was also pressed... I think this one was pressed in Germany, if I recall. It's looking like a German pressing. Um, yep, and it says, and this is back when it was Western Germany. So this was printed in Western Germany. I find that very cool how it says, you know, Western Germany instead of Germany because of um, that time in history. But then, then I got right here, Digital Underground's Oregano Flow right here. Boom, boom. This is on just a generic sleeve with the hype sticker up there. Boom, still part of that same bundle. To close off that bundle, I have the We Want Easy by Easy. This is the remix, if I recall. Yes, it is. We Want Easy remix. It also has Still Talking remix, easier said than done. And Easy Chapter 8, verse 10. As you can see, Easy does it. The album cover is on the back. And super, super, super dope. I hadn't seen this pressing, so I made sure to pick all those up. Um, and this was also printed in Western Germany. So super, super dope was uh, excited to add this to the collection as well. And that concludes that uh, pickup. Uh, so those four vinyl singles were 40 euros shipped. Moving on, um, this was actually pretty cool. Um, I had picked this up on eBay for $4 shipped. This is a 50 cent first pitch card right here. Boom, boom, it's just 50 cent in the iconic um, I don't know if y'all have seen the video of him throwing out the first pitch where he just throws an awful uh, ball. It's just so terrible, but it's so funny. Uh, who knows? Maybe it was intentional. But 50 Cent right here. It's hilarious. It's got some uh, writing on the back as well. And I just thought this was cool, especially for $4. I had to pick that up. Moving on. Um, this is something I actually did a video for. I did... A, like a product showcase or unboxing, whatever you want to call them, up close of my Eminem Mom Spaghetti collection. So I just want to throw that in this video in case anyone didn't see it because I did pick it up recently. Got the glass, got the spaghetti container, got the bag as well. And I also got a shirt, which I don't have on this table right now because I already stashed it away. But I did link the video to the top right here for y'all to check out. And shout out to k 22 for blessing me with that as well. Now moving on, let's go ahead and get into a couple other things that I picked up. I picked this up from eBay. This is Ice Cube's raw footage on cassette tape. Um, the 2008 album by Ice Cube. This was not officially pressed by Ice Cube or... Um, any of his affiliated companies, but I just made sure to pick it up. It is a bootleg just because sometimes I'll pick up bootlegs if they're my favorite artists, if it was well done, whatever, that's when I'll do something like that. This is a clear bootleg. Um, boom, I'm not sure who made this particular bootleg. It says Dead Format Productions. So anyways, I just went ahead and picked it up for $10 shipped. Moving on, this is funny. So moving on, this is an incredible album. This is an album that it, it is one of my favorites. It's Tribe Called Quest Low End Theory right here. And this is funny because I'm sure AD Uno will see this video. That's my homie on Instagram and in, in real life. But uh, AD Uno, all the time back in the day, we'd hit up swap meets. And I'd always see Low End Theory for sale. And it was either like 15 bucks or 20 bucks or something like that. And I always said like, I'm not spending more than $10 on this album because back then cassette tapes weren't as expensive as they are today. They were starting to get up in price, but they still weren't, you know, the prices they are today. So I was like, I'm not paying that much for it. Like it will drop in price. I'll find it for five bucks. I'll find it for 10 at most. And then what do you know? I never found it for that much. It was always over 15 bucks. So then here we are today or a couple months ago, I picked it up for $27 ship. So it's like, jokes on me i was like you know what i just need to finally get this on cassette tape it's been too long and he's definitely clowning on me for that one but classic 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 album had to eventually pick it up right moving on got a little bundle this thing from discogs this is three items i picked up on discogs for 22 dollars shipped i have the project pat gel and weave cd single made sure to pick this up because i don't believe this is on any 
official album. Maybe it made it to a compilation or something like that, but it ain't on an official album. So I made sure to pick up the Gel and Weave so I had that MP3 right there. Boom, boom. As you can see, there's no artwork on the back, just a sticker on the front. Also part of that bundle, I have the Too Low, Funky Low Brother album. Just threw that in. I still haven't heard this album. It is on Rap Lot, and Rap Lot usually never misses. So I made sure to pick that up. Boom. And then I have this awesome cassette single by Twista, this being Emotions. Really, really, really dope song from an incredible album. That would be Adrenaline Rush. Really uh, great piece of work, and I hope people listen to it. But this is Emotions. All that was for 22 shipped. And then I got another eBay pickup. This was for $22 shipped as well. This is Project Pat's The Appeal Mixtape. Honestly, the mixtape is not good. This is just something to kind of hold you over, you know, while Project Pat is in is um, behind bars, right? This is The Appeal to get him out and whatever. And they just basically put a bunch of his verses over other hypnotized minds beats and it just doesn't work. All the originals are better. The best thing about this is it has a couple songs that weren't uh, released prior, which would be like Don't Turn Around, that's one of them. And then um, what is the other one? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, Don't Turn Around. And then what is the other one? Oh, Don't Bite the D. That was the other one, Don't Bite the D. So those two, so I was like, okay, those tracks are pretty good, but you know, the, the album itself wasn't great. But this particular one, the reason why I got it is because this has the bonus DVD, which is called Fang Clap, as you can see right there, DVD. And then here is the CD. So boom, this one had Fang Clap. So that's why I made sure to pick this particular one up for $22 shipped. All right, moving on. I got a CD that I picked up actually from Conway's website. I don't remember how much it was. It was whatever the stock price was. So it was either like 20 or $25. And this is Conway's La Maquina. I actually haven't heard this yet. I've heard maybe a song or two from here, just from uh, some friends just bumping it in their whips. But I haven't heard this one in full yet because I just haven't yet. You can actually see the plastic is still on this uh, copy. I will listen to it. Uh, actually, maybe I'll pop it in this week or next week. We will see. But that one I picked up just for the standard price, whatever it was. Same thing here. Pick this one up uh, for the standard price from Alchemist website. Um, and this is Haram with uh, by Arm & Hammer and The Alchemist. This is the deluxe edition. So this has the album. It also has the instrumentals. Uh, it is in a digi pack and this digi pack is actually a little bigger than your standard digi pack see that right there it's also thicker paws um but yeah you can go ahead and see that right there so it's pretty much the same in width the standard digi packs a little wider but this um is higher so i don't know what i call these i mean i still will call them digi packs but they probably have like a different name i don't know but pick that one up also uh, from the website this one right here is Murs Love and Rockets Volume 2, uh, produced by DJ Fresh. This one I haven't listened to yet, but I did get it for free from Murs's manager, so I appreciate it. I'll be blessing you with this a couple months back. We did a giveaway uh, as well for some concert tickets, so boom, they bless me with this as well, so appreciate that. Next up, this is something that I picked up from Ghostface's website. Um, but uh, yeah, Saigon Valor right here. This is Ghostface, uh, six track maxi single. So this is awesome. And shout out to Big Ghost as well. But um, this was interesting because it's like an EP. So uh, it's just basically got a bunch of mixes of Saigon Valor. So, you know, you have the uh, OG mix, the Bronzeman mix, the Propane mix, the UK mix, Shape 4 5 mix, and the instrumental. So, boom, pick this one up. I don't remember how much it was worth, but it was like the stock price, right? So, boom, pick that one up. Ghost Hates Killer being one of my favorite rappers of all time. Then, uh, actually, going back to Conway and then keeping with Big Ghost, <clears throat> we have the album right here. If it bleeds, it can be killed. And um, I remember they had. A couple different um, covers and this is the cover that I ultimately chose didn't want to get all of them um, because if I recall gourmet deluxe release this and they're from the UK and like it costs a little more and everything and I just want to buy all the very impressings but this one I picked up right here 
boom, boom, has a little crack in the jewel case. I'll have to replace that one eventually. But that was also stock price, right? I picked that one up off their website, not from a reseller. This I picked up from Discogs. This is Cool G Rap and DJ Polo's first album, Road to the Riches. And some of y'all might be wondering why I never had this. I just actually just never had this. I know uh, Traffic Entertainment Group also did a repress of this, which is pretty dope. I need to pick that one up also. But this original pressing, I've just never had. Picked it up for $50 shipped. And that sounds like a lot of money because it is a lot of money. However, in uh, in the grand scheme of things, it's actually a pretty decent price for this um, original pressing. Um, it, it's, it's a decent price. It's not like amazing, but it's not bad. That's for sure. It sold for much higher. So I made sure to pick this one up. I just never had it. And I've obviously heard tracks from it. I've never heard the full thing because the way I am, I like to listen to albums when I actually own them. So I'd heard singles, I'd heard a couple things here and there, but I never heard it from track one to 11. So uh, this is something that I was very patient. I finally got it and I am excited to listen to it. So then moving on, I have two more items right here. Um, I'll go ahead and actually show this press kit that I picked up for the movie Trespass, Ice Cube being one of my favorite, or actually being my personal favorite rapper of all time, Ice-T being an incredible rap artist and just so great. He doesn't get enough credit. They're both in the movie. Um, and then boom, you have right here the press kit. It also has information right here, like a bunch of stuff. So it has casting info, the plot, um, storyline, etc., etc., etc. So it's like a whole booklet of all this information which i'm not going to go ahead and flip through my favorite part of stuff like this is when you get the actual press photos right so like ice cube and ice tea right here this is an image that surfaced online a lot of people have seen this image and then the next one as well super awesome image right here boom 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 um and then there's other shots from the movie but they don't have ice cube and ice tea in them uh, I'm not going to go ahead and show all them. If you want more photos of them, uh, maybe I'll do like an up close uh, of this particular press kit or just hit me up and I'll send them to you. But yeah, I was stoked to find this. And this was actually for 10 uh, pounds shipped. So 10 British pounds shipped. I thought that was a great, great deal for this. I was very excited for that. And then lastly, pick this uh, sticker pack up from Mr. Crumb on Instagram. He's got quite a few dope stickers right here um I, I was pretty excited i'll just go ahead and show a few of them i think he still is selling these i'm not entirely positive but let me just show you all a few so you can just see the dope stuff that he's uh put out there so we have like ice cubes true to the game giving up the nappy dugout and these are made so you can go ahead and put them on your vinyl records you know the generic sleeves and throw them on on them so that's pretty cool you got like rock kim's it's been a long time super great diamond the hiatus remix don't believe the hype public enemy right here and he has two colorways for it like he just does awesome the amazing cypress hill and it just goes on and on and on. He has some dope, dope, dope stuff. <clears throat> Let's do one more company flow. So Mr. Crumb has some dope stickers, some dope stuff. Um, and yeah, uh, I bought that as well for whatever was on his website. Like, I don't really remember. It's on there. So I didn't like go and do the knowledge. I was like, well, all the discogs, eBay stuff will go ahead and do that. But anyways, that's all of my pickups for this episode of Collector's Corner, vinyl, CDs, um, promo items, tapes, and press kits and more. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. If you have any questions on anything, let me know. Let me know what your favorite was. Appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all on Instagram at Rappin' and Snackin'. I'll talk to y'all next time. Peace.